One goal of geometry is it really improves what's known as your spatial intelligence, and that is the ability of your brain to move pictures around and maybe take something and move it right on top of something else that might be the same and try to match pieces up. And so that's what we're going to do here. We do that a lot mentally when we're putting like things together that we buy at the store that require assembly. And so we're going to we're going to improve on that spatial intelligence with congruent triangles. Now, congruent triangles are triangles that have the same shape and size, which means they have the same sides, side lengths and the same angle measures. So the two triangles shown are congruent. Find corresponding angles and sides in congruent triangles. So corresponding means what matches up with what other piece. So what I've got to do is I've got to mentally flip this triangle ABC so it lines up on top of triangle XYZ. Okay. So to do that, let's try to match up some parts here. Well, it looks like angle A is a acute angle here, and looks like that's going to match up with angle Z. And it also looks like uh, angle C is maybe a little bit bigger angle, so it's going to match up with angle Y. And that leaves angle X, which appears to match up with angle B. Now, with that, I'm going to go over here, and it says triangle XYZ is congruent to what? Well, it's congruent to another triangle, and what I've got to do is I've got to match up ang this, this X with the vertice that goes with it in the other triangle. And so since X has three marks, uh, B also has three marks, so B is going to go first. Y has two marks in the diagram, and so does C. And that leaves uh, Z to match up with A. So I could hide this diagram over here and be able to pick out which vertices match up with which other vertices in the other triangle just by looking at this relationship here. But since I've got the diagram, we can use it as well. So angle X is going to match up with angle B. I know that because it's first, as is, angle, as, as is B. Y is going to go with A, or with C, excuse me. So angle Y is going to go with angle C. And angle Z is going to match up with angle A. So what else we know is, here's YZ, it should match up with CA, equal measures. And also over here, and let's see, XZ, first and third, should match up with BA, also first and third. And XY, first and second, should match up with BC, first and second. And... Uh, I could go ahead and say that these are all congruent in here. Probably should have that instead. On this last example here, we're going to use this relationship. And we could use the picture up above, but let's use this relationship here that triangle XYZ is congruent to BCA. We have a lot of things to find here. A lot of, little bit of algebra to do. So let's match up the pieces. Angle X is 60 degrees. Well, angle X has to match up with ang angle B. So these two pieces are the same. And if I set them equal to each other, I learn that X has to be half of 60, which is 30. Now, I also notice that this angle Y is in the middle, and then angle C is in the middle, so guess what? I don't have to sort anything out really much here. I know that 3y minus 1 is going to equal 80, so let me add 1 to both sides and divide by 3. In your head, you got it, 27. Now that leaves us angle Z, which is the third vertice or point in the in the relationship and angle A. 
Well, we don't know angle Z and we don't know angle A. Well, we probably better find one. Well, in our triangle, really what we have is we have one angle that's 80, we have one angle that's 60, and so to add up to 180, that means the missing angle has got to be 40. So both of these angles have to be 40. So that means N is 40, and that means M plus 5 equals 40. So taking 5 away from 40, we get M is 35. All right, let's go back to our relationship. X, Y is 2t, bc is 8. Well, those sides match up. 2t equals 8, t is equal to 4. xz, which is first and third in our relationship, should match up with ba, and uh, it does. So we're going to set 14 equal to 2p minus 4. So add 4 to both sides and divide by 2. Half of 18 is 9. And finally, Y, Z, and C, A are the same. So that means R is 10. That's how we can work with finding angles and finding a few sides if we have congruent triangles. And we'll spend a lot more on congruent triangles coming up.